Hi, um, I'm it's really late right now, but um, I have a, I had a schedule I wanted to commit myself to, uh, so I'm going to see myself through this. Um, so I so I wanted to do a subscription box, you know, every Friday. Um, fortunately, the boxes didn't come in, um, but in this but they came in today so and there's another one another one I have to pick up in in the uh, post office tomorrow and there's also another one's going to be scheduled for pick for for delivery tomorrow so I will be on track for my for my schedule for my schedule um, so so the first box I did was um, the wax, the one from the Wax Box Club, um, and today I'll be doing one from um, SportCardBoxes.com. It's the it's their uh, gold box. Um, so basically, so basically, it's it's at a lower price point than Wax Wax Box. It's at seventy five versus you know one hundred and ten. Um, so the, so in comparison to the wax box club there's it kind of has their it kind of has its own flavor of things um so i'll just kind of go through that right now um so the first thing the first thing to note is that there are there are fewer packs um wax so wax box club had eight and they all and and they told you what all of the packs were. You'll see here that um, they only tell you they, they they only have four. They have a list of featured products here, but it's only going to be four of the eight. Um, four, four only four of the eight are are actually going to be from from the list are going to be chosen. Um, now they do mention they have there is going to be one premium pack of. Allure SPA, um, black diamond or metal. Um, I guess I'll be uh, I'll be starting a new collection, um, and they and there's going to be two additional um, hobby packs and you know vintage nostalgia. Uh, you know, like I don't know, it's nine probably ninety stuff. I mean, I'd be happy with even like eighty nine ninety OPG, um, but you know, like you never, that's, this is going to, that'll be a crapshoot. Um, now with regards to black diamond, the one thing from my wax box club, um, video, I kind of expressed some disappointment in, um, being, uh, in thinking that I was just a base pack, but I was, cr I, I was mistaken. Like, so with black diamond, you'll see on the bottom here, um, you'll see all these like you'll see like four silver diamonds here and you'll see like the rating of the rarity of each card with the with i guess obviously black diamond so this was actually the hit for that black diamond pack i had from my wax box club video um it's uh two it's two diamonds um and yeah, so let's let's open this up. Um, see what's yeah. And last, lastly, um, they mentioned here a guaranteed hit. Um, and you got to have a chance at a real at something really huge like those are three absolutely amazing um rookie cards and the, the other thing about um these uh the these particular gold boxes that they're limited to they're, they're they're it's a limited run so they're individually numbered out of 300 so you kind of have a you kind of do have a decent chance at at getting a big one so Let's let's open this up. 
Let's see what it's all about. Strangely enough, when I saw the um, the, the return address for this, uh, it's actually it's actually kind of it's actually in the in the Greater Toronto area, so it's kind of local to me. So, okay, so this is this is kind of cool. It's like I like the kind of like the shiny feel on this. Um, it's a little different setup here. Um, and it's also seal. It's also sealed down here as well. It's kind of cool. It's very, it's very different from, uh, it's definitely very, definitely very different from, from wax box. So let's see how this, how this um, is going to go. Yeah, I think the main difference between this and Waxbox is that, like, like, like I said, they are. Um, oh yeah, the gold, it's the branded, branded sticker too. Nice. Um, they don't tell you all the packs right off the bat, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a hit or miss here. definitely like the I definitely like the black it's really cool all right so um, so in this box they will they they have the um, the packs um, in like the description um, as you see like on the their website it's it's stuck to the box to the inside of the box here and uh mine is numbered 81 of 300 all right so there's my there's that uh there's that gold hit there um and i'll just i guess i'll just go from from the top 2021 rookies seven cards per pack uh that sounds like skybox metal to me so let's we'll save the premium pack for later so let's start this one here all right 2021 extended all right so extended is kind of yeah it's kind of a I have mixed there there's mixed feelings I, I mean the the young guns um, crop isn't from as I understand it isn't very strong but they have all sorts of cool insert cool inserts I think um, and some and a lot of these, some of these inserts are even like like their their box hits or half like every other box hits so let's see what we got here um, the only risk of um, extended, and I think it's probably the biggest criticism I have, is that you can, that base packs are possible. So I've opened up three um, extendeds, and I did get one base pack in in all three of them. So let's see how this goes. Um, this is deceptively uh, this. This kind of looks like a. Kind of gives you an impression that it's a clear cut based on the background, but it's not. So let's see what we got. No way. You got to be kidding me. Base pack? Really? No. Wow. Oh, geez. That sucks I'm, I'm even checking for the french variation because it's it can be hard to see because it would be down here if anything damn how unlucky is that base pack for extended one in 24 chance for from my experience oh Uh, 
That is, that is unfortunate. That that's clearly not a reflection on. Um, it's clearly not a reflection on um, Gold Box itself, but it's just really unfortunate. Ah, Opeachy Platinum. So this is a this is a this is a blaster pack. Um, you know the thing with Opeachy Platinum, I, strangely, it's it's very comparable to Hobby. Like I did a video on that uh, where I kind of described the pros and cons, retail versus Hobby in in pretty thorough detail. And uh, yeah, like you kind of, depends on what you're looking for. You get kind of like trade you can get like an extra retro um in a box in a hobby box but you kind of get like one less insert it's it's very give and take um so let's see what's this in the background okay so we got thomas chabot looks like a rainbow and got a neon yellow surge of valtteri flipula so this is kind of like these um this neon yellow surge um it's it's something new to like the the blasters in um 2020 21 like these are like the, the blasters like they have they have like blaster exclusives at um parallel so this is the neon yellow surge which is the general one and uh And, uh, like, Target has red ones, and, uh, Walmart has, uh, blue ones. So, let's see what we got next here. Alright, um, we got 1718 Series 1 Retail. Okay, so, I think Brock Besser is the main rookie here, is the... Oh, I like the ba I like the backs of these. Uh, I like the backs of these cards. De definitely, I'm very used to like the, I guess the black or like kind of like a lot of black or white um, on the back of upper deck cards. So this is definitely a nice thing to see. Um, Oh, Josh Hosang. Zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ziri. Um, Ziri, let's make a trade, man. What do you say? Oh, boy. Josh Hosang. All right. What do you got in this stack here? Oh, wow. I did not expect this. Uh, 19, uh, 1992, 93 upper deck. If this is, you know, as a, as a retro, as a vintage pack, that is not bad at all. That is, I will definitely, I will definitely take that. Um, I real this is. This is one one of the few sets, few sets I really, like post 91, 92, like that I really collected back in the day. Um, these were, I mean, it's, it's low series, but I mean, this was, this was a, this was a great set. All right. So I'm hoping you can get an insert like a uh, Gretzky Hockey Heroes. There's a few other insert sets as well. Um, let's see, um, is this the, yeah, so, so you can see here, you can see English and French, so I'm guessing this is the, uh, so, just because, uh, Canada has, like, some, like, official laws regarding having to have English and French, um, this is, I guess, the Canadian version, um, 
although all the cards are still in English. Ooh, checklist card. These are these have always been checklist cards for upper deck were always amazing. So this is I think Steve Larmer of the Chicago Blackhawks, I believe. Yep. Ooh, range. The artwork on these always been always have been amazing. This is New York Rangers got Mark Messier there. Um, what's this? The theme of this President's Trophy, the double President's Trophy card. Wow, I did, <laughs> gotta love that. Uh, Curtis. Joseph Cujo, um, Animos, yeah. Scott Young, Team USA. So, you know, it's a base. This is technically a base pack. Like, that was a very nice surprise for, uh, for a, uh, for a vintage pack. I mean, we've already given pretty much given away what the what the premium pack is. So, oh, got another got another uh, MVP hockey um, to go with the MVP hockey that I got in my wax from the Wax Box Club. Um, let's see. Come on, give me something. Give me. Give me something good. Oh, I got it. You can see kind of the blue. So it's a high series ice battles. So right off the bat, we got uh, Jake, Jake Gensel for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Hmm, born in Omaha, Nebraska. Lots of, uh, lots of, lots of American players. Um, Maybe a lot more than I realized, but yeah, short print, uh, uh, high series ice battles. I will take that. Um, go through to fully. Okay, Wade Allison. Um, sh short print high series. Oh, another heart attack. Um, so this is of Patrick Kane. Um, and. Yeah, first Amer American winner of the heart of the heart trophy. Um, and yeah, top three in point in points. Um, it's, a, it's a solid, it's a solid MVP, solid MVP pack. Anytime you can get two high series in a hobby pack. Along, along with an insert, it's, it's really cool. It's always a good thing. What do we got here? Ah, more, more OPG. You know, so yeah, I didn't. You know, I honestly didn't really. I don't OPG. It, it's not really much of a priority of it. But like after opening some of these, um, these uh, subscription boxes. I kind of got got a like create. A, I developed a liking for it. Like it's, um, it's actually not so. It, they're actually they're actually kind of nice. Um, so this is what I got in my last OPG OPG pack. So let's see here. Or what I'm going to get this time. So I think you get a guaranteed uh, retro rookie or yeah, retro variation. So let's see what we get. We got team checklist for the Ducks. The Ducks have uh, and yeah, they have a few interesting players. Um, some some young talent. Uh, I mean, Getzlaff is retired, um, but 
see. I'm looking for, obviously, Trevor Zegras. Um, and looking for uh, Jamie, yeah, Jamie Drysdale as a rookie. All right, so what do we got here? We got Alex Iafalo. Um, we got something, something blue back here. Hmm, Chandler Stevenson. So I guess this is a blue, uh, I guess this is a blue parallel. And look at the back of the retro. I guess this is supposed to be last year's design. Okay, Luka Zabinijad. Put that Put that aside for now. I guess the rest is just uh, base stuff. Yeah, I might pick up a box of this sometime. Um, all right, some more recent stuff. 2021-2022 uh, series one. Got a whole. I've got a. Got a. I have a box. I have some. I still have some some I need to open. So haven't got the Cole Caulfield yet. Um, I did get a uh, Spencer Knight, Young Guns. Um, got a black canvas as well. Um, let's see if we can get some something good. Um, oh, looks like another honor roll. Before we. Uh, Semyon Varlamov, uh, superstar honor roll. Okay. Yeah, I don't think if there's any variations or anything like that. All right. The last pack. I guess this is the premium one. This is a Skybox. Skybox Metal. Um, so I signed up for a few uh, a few group breaks for this product. So let's see what we got. don't know much about this product so it's all gonna be a surprise to me okay so I got Carey Price I kind of like this this is pretty this is kind of cool um, I see the the space background there uh, Brad Marchand looks like he's ready to lick somebody uh, we got David Pasternak, uh, Mark Shifley, uh, Miko Reitinen. We got oh, an auto looks. This looks like an autograph. Um, it doesn't look like a sticker. I guess it's a sticker autograph of Nils Hoglander, and we got another rookie of Tim Stutzla. Okay, that's. I think that's uh, pretty solid. That's uh, pretty solid. Um, I did not expect the uh, I did autographs. I assume were pretty rare. Um, let's take a look at the back of this. Uh, number to was it one ninety one ninety nine? We got a. That is really that is a really good pull. I and then it's one of the bigger um, one one of the more marquee rookie sought after rookies, Tim Stutzla. Um, that is 
that is very nice. All right, so last, this is probably, to be if I'm gonna be honest, my only shot at getting one of these um, big rookies. I mean, the, the boxes for these are just so, the packs for these are, so, those sets are so expensive, like, What do we got here? Okay, so it's. I don't think that's. Uh, I mean, if you look at the inside right off the bat, I don't think it's. I don't think like. Uh, I think you can tell. I can tell. I'm guessing by the thickness that it's not any of those young guns. But let's see what we got. Uh, Christian Hansen, Christian Hansen rookie. Um, looks like a, looks like SP. It's an, it's an, it's an autograph. Um, it's numbered to 799. This looks like SP, SPX. Um, this is from which year? 2009, 2010. All right. 